Hi, um, welcome, thanks very much for coming. Um, candidates for Vice President Student Activities, we've got Tara, Aji and Cam McCurdy, thanks for coming in. Um, how are you? So today is obviously the first day of campaigning, how are you feeling? Um, a bit nervous, yeah, uh, it's been a lot of work um, up until today. And you Tara? Are you um, there's been a lot of like, preparation involved, being organised and things, but it's been fun to do. So. Okay, so you've got a campaign all planned out and ready to go. So what does that entail? You know, what kind of things have you been doing to prepare? Yeah, I've been ironing t-shirts. Uh, yeah, I can iron. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's surprising how how much time it takes to transfer transfer paper onto uh, t-shirts. Um, yeah. And posters and posters, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting ready to put them up to later today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even making the poster, the different ideas that I had for it, um, and then doing it, putting it into practice. It took longer than I thought. Yeah. So everything I underestimated, but it's been really good to do, and I just can't wait to kind of get it yeah, done. Well, it's not long now. And why then did you choose to go for student activities, Tom? Um, I wanted to, like, I like coming here. I love coming to Bruno, and I've enjoyed my past three years, and I just wanted to give something back. Um, VPSA in um, that position in general for what I chose was just because I'm really involved in clubs and societies so I thought I'd use that and then choose a position that I thought that I could um, do my best in and I think that that's what I could do. Brilliant, and Cam, the same question. Yeah, well I'm, I'm the Society's Guild Chair this year and the experience has just been out of this world, like working with societies, like really great societies um, to like develop what they're doing and enjoy the activities that they enjoy uh, has just been great for me and I want to kind of give that back and make sure that they have the best experience of university through their club society or, or rag. Brilliant, so you've kind of answered this next question but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, <laughs> so what sports and societies are you active members of, Tara? Um, I am part of Bruno Netball. Um, I'm also a committee member of Bruno Netball, um, Web and Press Officer, and I'm also part of the ACS um, Society as well. Okay, um, Well, I'm just the Drama Sock Chair, I'm not part of any clubs, um, I can't play sports. Okay. <laughs> not because I don't want to, I just, I'm just no good at them. So, how well do you think that you'll represent sports clubs then, if you were elected? Yeah, well see, um, all my life I've absolutely loved sports um, and I had an injury when I was younger and that's why I don't play sports anymore um, but like in terms of representation and my desire to watch sport and enjoy sport I'm second to none in my opinion. Okay brilliant and so I suppose um, my question would be do you think then that sports events are a way of getting students together? Is this, is this uh, vital for the union's kind of aims or, or do you think it has a, a different purpose? And what's your thoughts on the role of sports clubs? Um, I think the role of sports, sports clubs are very big in Brunel, um, in general anyways here. Um, so I do think that um, socially events that they do, people will get involved because um, they are very big on campus. So it is a very good way to get people united and together and involved in things that are going on. In uni, do you think Brunel does that well? Um, at the moment, yeah, I think we do it really well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I agree with Tara. Um, I think it's a sport is a great way to unite people, and because Brunel is such a diverse community of people, it's a great way to bring that together and celebrate all of our different interests and different diversities. Brilliant. Tara, I've read your manifesto, um, and within it, you've got some plans for um, increasing membership. Uh, what are your definitive plans for doing that? Um, my main concern with that was that in, Fre in Freshers Week with um, Freshers Fair so there were many like sessions that people were doing but I just wanted more people to get involved in that because that was mainly to do with let's say the club side of things I know we had American football putting on a little bit of a show um, ACS dance put on a little bit of a show as well so if more clubs could sort of do that I thought it would be better for people to see yes that's what I want to do that's what they um, incorporate in their society slash club so therefore I want to get involved um, so that's that was what my main um, thing was an aim is for next year. And so you think Freshers Week's key, a key point? Yeah, because that's when um, everybody sees firsthand what the first societies and clubs have to offer. So if we can capture people's attention, the Freshers, from the offset, then um, I think they're more likely to want to join and um, then they can get, then they'll go to the stores and get more information on um, those clubs and societies as well. So I think that's the best thing to do. Right, so what do you think about increasing engagement then? Yeah, membership. In in increasing engagement is really important. Um, I mean, this year working as a society skill chair has been a main focus of mine to get more people involved. 
Um, and once we can find a, find a way to get more people involved, that's that's the first that's the first job achieved. Really. So do you feel then that there's a difference between getting members and then getting active members? Is there a difference there? I don't know what. There, there is. There is. There is definitely a difference. Yeah. So what, what is the difference? Um, so getting people to first sign up that's great, but then you have to keep them interested in that and. That's when they then become active members. So by showing them what we can do, what they can get involved in, what they can achieve by being in that club or society, I think then that will um, encourage more engagement in the society, therefore making them more active members. Also, by them being active members, they can then show other people, oh yes, this is what I've got from that club, and it brings will bring more active members as well. So, uh, can yeah, you... uh, I mean, like when you start in for the, like the first week of term, first month of term, everyone's up and g for it. But are you keeping that membership? engaged are you asking them what they want are you giving them what they want and you need to uh, we as as a vpsa i think that i would need to make sure that the societies and the clubs and rag as well um are giving the people involved in that what they want not what just the chairs and the officers want you talk about the olympics in your mind it's yes. kind of an event that that everyone aware of all the wide variety of, of sports and you know athletics and how would you use that? You just kind of suggest that you'd use the Olympics yeah. to try and try as part of your role. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean would not, not just, just the Olympics but the Paralympics as well. I mean it was a great festival um, that showcased our country uh, as a great sporting country and I want to make Brunel as a base point and where I want to celebrate our athletes and our, our disabled athletes and our abled athletes as much as possible, like the Olympics did with our athletes and the whole world's athletes. Did you, what do you think about the Olympics as a kind of a, a focus for this year? Do you think maybe move on now or do you think... Not, I think it's a very good thing. Everyone, like Cap said, everyone was involved. Everyone, when I was at work, everyone was coming in talking about it. It was a big thing in London, especially because it was here. So I think it's a great thing to then carry on from that and bring that to Bruno. I think it's a really good idea. Have you got any questions for each other at all? You might, you know, you must have read through each other's manifestos. You must have done a quick sweep of the competition and, you know, any questions come to mind? Have you had a thought about that? Honestly, not really. No, not really. <laughs> yeah. Not really. I think we're both focusing on, like, <laughs> what we're doing. Oh, you're on our own, I think, yeah. Okay. And so then to sum up, um, you've got a bit of time now just to maybe appeal to Brunel's students. What would you say, Tara? Why should Brunel's students vote for you? Um, I'd say Brunel students would vote for me because I'm a fun loving person. I really do care about the uni and the students that go here. Um, I just want to, like I said before, I just want to give back something to Brunel because it has given me the best time and opportunities here myself. So if I can do that, I, it will be a great thing. I really do think I can make a change. Um, all the things about my manifesto, I think, are very able to be done. They're very achievable. And I just think that by pairing other students here, it will just boost Brunel. Um, it's already a great uni, I just want to make it even better. And Cam, why should Brunel students vote? Yeah, well, I, in my opinion, the heartbeat of Brunel is Society's Clubs and Rags. And I want to make sure that that heartbeat keeps beating. I know that sounds really cheesy, but uh, no, I've been really passionate about my society and I want to branch that out to other societies like I've done this year and clubs and RAG as well. And I think I'm the right man to do that. Okay. Tara, Aji and Cam McCurdy, thank you very much for coming in. Thank, thank you very much.